just taking all of this into context, right? Because there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there and they feel like the grass is greener on the other side. Like, what is your advice to any entrepreneur, no matter what stage they're in? Because you talk about this slave mentality. You talk about, you know, being misunderstood. Like, what's your, what's your um, advice for any other entrepreneur out there that just want to get into business? Do something that you love. Don't try to make money of anything that you wouldn't do for free. Because then it's going to feel like work. But when you love something, it feels like practice. And also, you got to know that, because again, an entrepreneur knows these things, so this is someone that's not an entrepreneur that wants to be. Uh -huh. Number one, it's always going to be tough times. You're always going to be working. Your job as a boss is not to relax. It's to fix things. And your people come before you. Your business comes before you. You can't be selfish. You have to be selfless. And I would advise you run the cash register and every single part of it before you employ somebody so you know if they're doing their job or not. And all of that takes time. And also think about your competition and how hard they're working. And understand what a professional is. A professional is someone that makes money off of it. If you don't make money off of it, you're not a professional yet. You're an amateur trying to be a professional. Don't just call yourself a name that you're not. Because you start a business don't mean you're a businessman. When you win, when you yield, when someone else makes some money, that's when you call yourself that. It's like until you graduate, don't even call yourself until you feel it. Until you have, you're not asking these questions, do not call yourself an entrepreneur. Say you're training to be one. You know, being an entrepreneur back when you and me was coming up, it was not fashionable. Today, everybody's a boss. Everybody wants to be a I made it cool. I did that. Every single, now look at my, every single interview you ever heard me in the next 30 years was about making being independent and a businessman cool. That's all I, now I'm making being healthy cool. That's what my network, Dame Dash Studio is about. It's about focusing, not distractions. So it's about getting mental health. I have, uh, you know, healing is gangster with therapy. I got scripted fly shit like Dress to Kill. I got my own movies like that have been in theaters like Honor Up. I'm about to start a zombie movie now. I got vegan cooking shows like Health as well. Yoga shows. I got OG stories where you know really why people are doing what they're doing and what they learned from it, not glorifying it. From the guys that did the time the right way and then actually came home and did something better with their life. You know? So... My network is not about programming because the programming is what you're looking at that controls you. My shit is about deprogramming, showing us that slavery right now is mental. It's about the way you look at things and your perspective. But it doesn't come easy and nothing will be given to you. And sometimes you need a little war before there's peace. But you got to fight the right war, the one that yields. If you're fighting and it doesn't profit, it doesn't yield, you're fighting the wrong fight. You're just making noise. Bringing attention to something is one thing, but actually making a difference is another. We also do politics. Today I'm doing a, a town hall with the Congressman Andre Carson, with therapists, with principals. I also got the, um, OS, uh, the OSG network, 90 black principals, developing curriculum. So I'm not just talking about the education I hate, I'm gonna develop a new one. You know the therapy they teach us is wrong because it's based not on our culture because we don't get therapy. It's based on another culture. So how are they going to give us therapy? So we got to refix that. We don't have a platform to showcase any of our politicians and the congressmen and senators that are fighting for us every day. The only time we can get on CNN is when Trump yells at us. We can get our people elected. We don't teach our people how to vote and lobby and pass laws. But my network does. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.